Hello and welcome to The Drug Trip and thank you for clicking on this video. The purpose of this channel will be to share accounts and experiences with various substances so that the viewers can gain an insight as to what those experiences are like. I also hope that these experiences will reduce self-harm and substance abuse as I do not endorse, condone or encourage the abuse of any illicit substance, drug or medication. I will credit the authors in the description below and I also upload new trip reports on Sunday and Wednesday every week so if you do happen to enjoy the content please consider subscribing. This was only the second time I had ever done ketamine. The first time was over 10 years ago, in powder form, intranasal, and it was great fun. I was awake and alert and enjoying the novel sounds, feelings and experiences. I felt like I was in a cartoon, just fun and games. The second time was profound. I had been wanting to get a hold of some real ketamine for a while, the pure liquid USP form. Well, my wish was finally granted. I'm well educated about pharmaceuticals, being a pharmacist, so I do know a lot about the drug. Its pharmaceutical properties, pharmacodynamics, dosage, route of administration, adverse reactions, etc, etc. I also knew that it was not a party drug. No, K is something that you have to take seriously, especially in its pure form. Being an anaesthetic, so I planned out a quiet time when I would be able to be at home with no distractions and no obligations. I prepared my space ahead of time. I poured myself a glass of water and set up the laptop on my couch. My husband was playing a PC game and would be right beside me the whole time. I drew up 50 milligrams in a sterile syringe, then pondered where to inject. I had originally thought of injecting into my thigh, but when I considered how short the needle was, I changed my mind. Now, I don't have a lot of body fat at all, but just to be safe, I chose a spot on my shoulder where I was sure the needle would reach all the way into the muscle. I swabbed the area with alcohol, let it dry and slowly injected. There was only a very mild stinging upon injection, which dissipated quickly. I cleaned up my work area, disposed of the needle, grabbed my water and went downstairs and took my position on the couch. The drug took effect within two minutes. I had originally planned on just goofing off on my laptop, watching videos or playing games or watching my husband play his game. But it became quickly apparent that that was out of the question. I just lay back on the couch and listened to the sounds of my husband's game. The sounds and colours of the game soon dissolved into a kaleidoscope of light and sound that played against the backdrop of my eyelids, and I was gone. I started thinking that it was good that I had carefully calculated my dose and done my research, because doing this without knowing what I knew would have been a recipe for panic. I was completely incapacitated. I was anaesthetised, but my consciousness was very much intact. I knew that ketamine did not depress the respiratory centre of my brain, so that whatever happened, I would keep breathing, and this was good, because a similarly incapacitating dose of another surgical anaesthetic would surely have killed me. As I lay on my back, swept away by the profundity of the experience of being so close to death, all my cares, worries and insecurities melted away, and there was nothing, nothing in the whole universe but simply being, being in the state of pure existence, the utter, elegant simplicity of existing purely as a soul filled me completely and I felt absolute peace. I dwelled upon that euphoric sensation for a long time, simply being grateful for my existence and for being able to transcend everything to get to the point where there was nothing but absolute peace. The colours and gentle sounds of the kaleidoscope placed upon my closed eyelids. Gradually, sensations began to return, gently and pleasantly. I became aware of words coming from the game that my husband was engaged in beside me, and the combinations were amusing. After a little while, I attempted to speak, and I was happy to find that my speech was not at all slurred, and my husband understood me perfectly. I told him about the amusing conjunction of words that I had heard, and he said that he had never thought of it that way before, and it did seem quite amusing. I was happy to have made this connection and happy to find that in this state of blissful, semi-suspended animation, I could connect and that my intellect was entirely intact. After a little while, the sounds of the game, which had been enough to please my senses before, left me wanting something more melodic, more fluid, to engage my present state of sensory appreciation. I wanted to hear some music. I had my laptop with a sufficient collection of music but I had neglected to bring headphones over to my area of repose and I didn't want to disturb the pleasant balance of individual entertainment that we were sharing by blaring my music against his game. 
Waiting for my husband to go get to a point where he could get up and get them for me also seemed undesirable because I really didn't want to forestall my sensory enjoyment and interrupt this beautiful experience I was having, so I decided to get them myself. Getting headphones became an objective that I undertook to accomplish the please and my swirling fancy of imagination and being. I knew that I had earbuds in my purse and that was only one room away. If I could just get my purse, I would have accomplished my goal. So I swung my legs over to the side of the couch and sat up. The sensation of movement was novel and strange. I wasn't sure if I could walk, so I reached my hands out and steadied myself along the way against the walls and furniture, helping my progress along until I reached my destination, my purse. I sat down on the floor, reached into it and produced the earbuds along with my iPod. Moving around was beginning to give me an unpleasant sensation of nausea, so I endeavoured myself to get back into the position where I was before to restore my state of bodily numbness. I settled back into my reclining position on the couch, and the brief nausea went away. I opened up a playlist on my laptop and plugged in the headphones, set my laptop beside the couch and lay back. The earbuds didn't reach that far enough, so I opened up the same playlist on my iPod and plugged into that. Much better. I settled back and I let the music serenade me. As I listened, it seemed that every song contained an answer that unfolded itself for me. I watched as a pattern of circles came together and formed a number 36. At the time, this seemed to be a relevant situation I had dealt with within a fitting room earlier that day, trying on different sizes of bras to find which one was best. Ultimately, none of those of which I tried on fit very well and left me feeling very unsure of my true size. Other answers settled very quietly into my subconsciousness. Certainly, they are all still there. I lay there, listening to the music and feeling blissful and content. I must have eventually drifted off into sleep. I had injected myself at 11pm, and when I awoke to my husband speaking to me, having turned off his game, it was 1.30am. By that time, I was able to move around without impairment, and we went upstairs to bed. I brushed my teeth, glad that I had taken care of everything else before my trip and we both climbed into bed. I awoke the next day feeling refreshed and mentally cleansed, pure mind and of pure heart. I will remember this experience for a long time, not only as one of the most profound drug experiences of my life, definitely one of the top three, but as purely a profound experience of self in existence. As a pharmacist, I also have a different kind of respect for anaesthesia and the potency of anaesthetics and the convincing realisation that honestly, in pure reality, life is good. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed listening to this experience. If you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing. If you would like me to upload a particular drug experience, please let me know in the comments below. Above all, please be safe, be responsible, and be well.